welcome to Crafty Shenanigans. I'm Shannon Smith and I am so excited to share with you today. I've got a kind of traditional Christmas card ready for you and we're going to learn how to kind of make an antique looking background and I think you'll find it's a lot of fun. Let's just go ahead and get started on that. Okay so to begin we're just going to take a piece of watercolor paper and I just actually cut this down from a piece um, out of a pad of watercolor paper. I was able to get a couple of panels out of one sheet and then I'm going to take this beautiful stencil. This is by Magenta and it's called Stained Glass Poinsettia and I am just going to go ahead and slip this. I've got some tape on here. I'm going to slip this kind of where I want the design to land and I do want it fairly snug in there because this is going to go through a lot before we are done. So you want to make sure there's no tape taping over your design, that you want it fairly snug and, and secure. So I'm just going to tape that to this scratch piece of paper I have. And we could probably use one more piece along the bottom. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so you can see my, my dish pan. This is what I use when I'm using anything that's kind of got some spray or some splash to it. It keeps the mess contained and it works, it works really pretty good. So I'm going to start by using this Sheer Shimmer Craft Spray in gold. And I'm going to just give this a fine, it's a fine, fine mist that this has. I should also point out that you want to make sure anything, like any of the metallic that's along the bottom is all shaken up. You can see I've got it pretty much shaken up. So I'm going to hold that maybe about 10 inches away. Just kind of, kind of let that absorb a little bit. And then I'm going to take, this is Fun Stamper's Journey. This is Shimmer Gold. And we're going to go ahead and use this as well. And I'm mostly concentrating on the edges with this one. Kind of want it to gradually, the color to gradually, gradually get darker on the edges. And I will be adding more of this later on. So for now, I think I will go ahead and I'm going to blot this a little bit. Because we're mostly just kind of making a base for the next step. Okay, so I didn't let it dry all the way, but I did dry it off a little bit and I did do a little bit more blotting. But the next step of this is we are going to take, um, you may remember a few weeks ago I did a, a card where I used the pan pastels with paint brushes. And we're going to do a little bit of that again today. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to leave the stencil on, but we're going to use our brushes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a little bit of a frog today. Okay. So I'm just going to take, this is chrome oxide green. And this is, it says perm with a, a I'm guessing permanent green, extra dark. So we're going to go ahead and we will use those. And we're just going to start with the leaves. And it's okay that my paper is a little bit wet because it's going to make the pan pastel have a little something to stick to. Now make sure you don't lift your stencil in between. That's the big trick. You're going to want to leave that stencil right where it is. I 
a little bit of lift going on right there, so I just am going to use my fingernail to tack it down just a little bit more. And I will likely speed up this part of the video here and there so that you don't have to watch this whole part of me coloring. I will show you before I do that that um, after I get this first layer of green on there, and I'm, I'm going to want to smooth the colors out a little bit more, and I'll do that in a speedier process, but then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to add the darker green just closer to the base of the leaf, close to the flower. And so I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this and I will speed up the video during this part. So now that we've got the leaves done, we'll go ahead and we'll start on the poinsettia blooms. And I'm just going to start with a base of this light pink, and I'm just going to really loosely lay that on there. And I will also go ahead and probably spread this one out, um, so make this, not spread it out, but um, speed it up. But I will show you the beginnings of one before I do that. So I'm going to use this lighter pink, this kind of bright red, this darker red, and this really deep kind of burgundy color. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll start with this one and then I'll go on to this one and I'll just kind of add some contouring and some, some shading in there, get a little more depth in there. Okay, so now that we've got that ready to go, we're, I went ahead and I did do one spray, but I'm going to go ahead and spray it again. Because we do want to do it in layers. We don't want to do it too much all at once or else the pan pastel will, will start to, to uh, bleed. Okay, so I'm ready to add another layer of the gold. And we'll let that dry and then I'll do another one. Okay, so the nice thing about putting on um, this gold spray is it kind of, even though you have to be careful not to put too much on, like I said, so it doesn't run, that light layer also does set your pan pastel so it doesn't bleed once it's dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the splash again. Mixing that color from the bottom. And I just want to get mostly on the edges. And I think we'll just about have it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and then I'll go ahead and show you the finished card. So 
So one more thing that you will want to add is I added silk. This is FSJ. This is gold. I'm also going to add some black licorice. So again, you want to make sure there's nothing on the bottom. And you just flick that. And I'm going to do the same thing with my black. Excuse me, as I mix the color. All right, now I'll go ahead and I'll let that dry, but let me go ahead and show you the finished project. So you can see it just makes a fun, antique looking background. You can have a lot of fun with this. The stencil was perfect for this. Um, I did add a little sentiment here. I cut this out on my Cricut. Have a few little embellishments and some ribbon. Super simple. It, the hardest part of this card is just waiting for something to dry, the layers to dry in between. So I hope that you found something new, something that maybe got your creative juice going. I would love to see what you're creating and I would love for you to tell me in the comments some of what you're working on, maybe some things that you'd like to see on this channel. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. And until next time, I hope that you are just busy creating and that you're enjoying the holiday season.